Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Anouk. What we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Anouk's wonderful ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands. The correction and the motivations that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using for this particular girl. We're using a regular six foot web training leash and Fred keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give the correction. And the correction is a very easy tug and let go on her harness, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. We don't use anything on the neck for these large growing breeds. The first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. And what that means to you is that when you walk your puppy, she's by your side, she's not dragging you, and each time that you stop your feet, whether it's to talk to a neighbor or cross the street, she sits automatically without being told to wait for her next command. And she's doing a really great job with that. Shoulders should remain even with your left leg so that you're always comfortable when you're walking this big girl. She's growing very fast, so you're gonna want that control. Now the next exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. Fred uses the open flat of his left palm and the one word firm command to stay. Now when you're practicing at home, because she is young, you can practice these exercises right in your home, especially your stationary exercises. The long sit stay is for one minute, working up to three minutes. When Fred returns back to his dog, he will walk all the way around her for an additional distraction, going all the way back to heel position where they started. And every time that Fred returns to heel, a nook expects to get another command. So you have to tell her what you expect her to do. So here's her nice healing, her automatic sits. She's become much more playful, much more outgoing. She's very friendly, sweet. You can see her looking up at Fred, kind of asking him if she's doing it right, waiting for her hand command. And the next exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the come. The come is a very important command. You always want it to be happy. You want your dog to come to you when you call her. So the command is a nook come. She should come right in front of you and she should sit. And that keeps her from barreling in and jumping all over you. And then Fred's going to return back to heel position and demonstrate that recall or the come on command again. Now we allow our large, giant, growing breeds to be a little bit less military, a little sloppy in their performance because of the fact that they're growing so fast and they're clumsy. Fred's gonna call her in. He reels her in kind of like a little fish. She sits right in front of him and then Fred returns to heel. Now the next exercises that we're gonna demonstrate for you are very important and they are your down commands. There's down from a heel position and there's down from a distance. And you notice that anytime she starts to act distracted on the end of the leash, Fred just tightens up a little bit on his leash to give her that little bit of correction around her midsection so that she knows that she shouldn't be wandering off. She should be staying next to you. Fred's going to use the open flat of his palm straight down toward the ground and the one word firm command to down. The long down stay when you're practicing in your home and you can practice on carpet, you can practice anywhere while you're eating dinner is for three minutes working up to five minutes. And believe it or not, all that barking is not coming from our school, it's coming from our neighbor's backyard. Then she's even doing it with distraction. Whoops, <laughs> she knew, she went right back down. When Fred returns back to her, he will walk all the way around her as he did on the sit stay for an additional distraction. Back to heel, he praises her. 
tells her to heal and she gets right back up and starts healing again. <laughs> now she's going to play. Tails up. We're being silly now. We're absolutely amazed at this girl's resiliency and her ability to want to please that you're down from a heel. And as you get more familiar with the commands and you're working with her, you can mix them up and have fun with them. Use them in your everyday living situations. Fred will call her in out of this down and have her sit. Very good. And then Fred just goes back to heal. Very good. And the very last exercise that we're going to show you is her down from a distance. Fred leaves her in a sit-stay. Always have your dog seated before you attempt to put her into a down, especially with these giant breeds. Fred's going to use his right hand to give the command and drop her into a down. Beautifully, beautifully done. We are so proud of her. She is a very, very cool girl. She is very brave. We're, we're, we're amazed at her accomplishments. These are all of her basic obedience training commands. We will help you along with anything that you need from us as far as continuing her on the right path as she grows and matures. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainers.